All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to tie a pretty bow. So there's a couple ways I tie bows. I'm going to show you on different weights and thicknesses and a skinny uh, ribbon and wide ribbon. And I'm gonna show you a couple tricks as well. So the first way that I do it just on my own is I make two bunny ears like so and then I tie them in a knot so I just tuck this one under and pull and it's fully adjustable so you can adjust the bow to however small or large you would like and I usually uh, tie it on the roll so that I can just trim it off and I'm not wasting any ribbon so that's one way so I'm gonna undo that. The second way is to use uh, some kind of help. So I've got two different sizes of forks here. I have this little piece of cardboard here with a hole in the middle and then a notch cut out. I'll show you how to make one of these using two pieces of cardboard to make it thicker. You can make it as thick as you want. This is two pieces as well and you can make it any size you want. So this is two and a half by two and a half, so you can do a square. So let's start with the forks. So this is a wide fork, so I'm gonna use this pink ribbon. So what you're gonna do is for this, you do need to cut it off the roll. So let's say about here, and I am right-handed, so I'm gonna show you this right-handed because um, that's the only way I know how to do this. So I'm gonna start by winding this around, okay, towards my right. Now I'm going to take the ribbon and I'm going to bring it back into the middle here to create a loop over here. Then I'm going to poke it through the bottom a little more difficult with a fork for me. Um, and then I have my loop here. I have this tail. I'm going to put it back through the loop and pull it tight. So just keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. And what I love about doing bows this way is both of the tails are behind the bow. So it looks nice and neat. I do end up wasting some ribbon because I need that extra ribbon to make the loop, but I think the pretty bow is worth it. So I just trim off the edges. This one isn't that adjustable, so make sure you pull it as tight as you want it before you take it off. So that's the large fork, so I'm gonna put it right there. And then we have the smaller salad fork. I'm gonna use this thinner ribbon for that. And let's see, I'll trim it about here. So again, I'm gonna wind it around the fork and this is the same concept, whether you use a fork or you use this little tool. Um, you can also use dowels. I've seen dowels um, in um, a wood block. So I'm going to put, place this on the top, making a loop. And then the reason why I like this is because it holds the ribbon in place while you're doing this next part. And then push this back through and I'm just going to pull on it a little bit and then it needs to go back through that loop and then nice and tight and so this is going to be like a teeny tiny bow teeny tiny so you can do all different sizes of of bows so teeny tiny so there's our teeny tiny one using this. Now let's do, let's use this tool. So I'm gonna do this ribbon, uh, which is actually this ribbon 
that I used a blends on and then the color lifter to lift some of the color to create a different color ombre ribbon. So this is sweet sorbet that I used. So you can use this ribbon to create a different color ribbon. Okay, so same thing. I wound it around and just trim it off. And I'm going to scrunch this just so I have a bigger opening. And again, I'm gonna bring this back to create a loop. So you're creating this loop on the one side, depending on if you're right-handed or left-handed. If you're left-handed, you just go the opposite way. So you want this loop on the right if you're right-handed. And then this is gonna come around. And so this is forming the middle of the bow here on the back. And we're gonna go back through and just keep tightening. So it took me a couple times um, to get it. Some practice, it takes a little bit of practice. And, but you get these beautiful, beautifully tied bows. I just love how they turn out. Isn't that nice? All right, now I'm gonna show you how easy it is to, to make your own. So you can make it whatever size you want. So this is two inches by two inches square. So that's what I cut this to. And I'm gonna glue them together. You can use whatever glue you want. This is just the liquid mono glue. But glue is going to hold it together really well. And I'm also going to do, well, this is setting. You do have to let it set for a little bit. I'm gonna make a two and a half inch one. So I'm just gonna put glue all over this. And we need to punch a hole in the middle. So a crop a dial would be the best tool to do that. Okay, so you just wanna glue those together so, you, so it's nice and thick, not to be thick. And I think this is co these are coasters. So you could use coaster, chipboard, cardboard. Um, it comes in a lot of the Stampin' Up! products. It comes in the paper pumpkins. So now I have my crocodile. This is for um, setting brads and also punching holes. and also punching holes. There's two different sizes and you can have different depths. So I'm gonna do the larger hole and here's my two inch and I'm going to place it all the way down. And punch a hole through. This is just a super duper stronger hole punch. Now for this one, I'm also going to do the same thing on this side. And then I will be cutting my notch. I'm gonna use some strong scissors and I'm just gonna cut a notch from the opposite side. Doesn't wanna do that last part. So we'll make it go in further. Okay, and you're just gonna create this little notch from the edge of your cardboard to the middle. And you wanna have this notch for your ribbon. So just do that on this one. And you have yourself your very own bow maker. So let's try this one. Let's see how this one works. Um, let's do it on this pink ribbon. It's pretty. Let's see, this is soft polyester. Yeah, it's soft. And I think it's petal pink. Yep, petal pink. So again, wind it around this way. Give yourself enough ribbon to do a loop going back around and then down through the middle. See, it's kind of nice to have that there because on the fork it, it wants to go back up. And then I'm just gonna pull this through a little bit more 
slide it through the loop and now I'm just going to pull, 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 pull and check that side. Looks pretty good. And then both the tails are behind the bows and then we can slide this off. It's the first time using this. And if you want, you can uh, quarter, quarter around the edges and there you go. There is your cute bow. This one is a better size, I think, for this ribbon. So I hope that was helpful. So this tied this one, this one tied those two, and this is the same. So you can use any fork or you can make your own little bow maker. Um, some people sell two wooden dowels attached to a wooden block and you can move the dowels into different spots to create different widths but it's just easy enough to create your own at different widths.